keep the coat fluffy it's a blade cleaner I recommend investing in a good pair of clippers lithium wool mini clippers good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel i am so glad you are here with me today so what i'm going to talk about today is the basics the basic equipment that you need to start up your dog grooming business sorry i just couldn't kick the camera there is still quite a lot of things that you need to purchase but these are my top things that I use every single day without fail since I started grooming and I would highly recommend you invest in these before you set up. Your equipment's really really important and grooming equipment is really really pricey so it is going to be an investment. Some websites do offer plans where you can pay off in monthly instalments. Obviously a lot of people will get a business grant to set up their business because grooming is let's go in with this the first thing you're gonna need is your brushes so I'm gonna pick the very very basic at the moment I picked three um, I've got my long pin slicker sorry it does have loads of dog hair in one is pricing at about around 18 pounds I would highly recommend his products I use them every single day they're really high quality and they're also pet owner friendly as well I would highly recommend both of these the first one is a long pin slicker so the long pin slicker you're gonna be using on your long coated dogs you're gonna be using them on your Tibetan terriers, your curly coats, your cockapoos, your poodles, your collies, your German shepherds. You're really going to be using this on the majority of your dogs. If they have a long thick coat you really want a long pin slicker. I personally groom a lot of curly coats so this is the brush that I use every single day and I also have a mini version as well. So this is actually the face brush from the Colin Taylor range and it does have a slight bend in it. So this is ideal for round the face and round the leg. I would recommend getting a mini slicker just because a lot of dogs don't like the brush going down their legs and I feel like you have a little bit more control when you have a smaller space of bristles. This is also really good if you have tiny little dogs. I have a handful of dogs that are really small and this would probably take up their whole body so the smaller slicker is a good benefit there. The next brush I would recommend is a short pin slicker. Um, this is the sort of brush that you can use on a Labrador Beagle. You can use it on your double coats but it's just not going to get as much hair out. I don't personally use this that much but that's just because I have long coated dogs. So if you are going to do smooth or short coated dogs I would recommend a short pin slicker as well. The, the pins don't move as much and they're a lot closer together and a lot shorter so they're not going to scratch the skin. The next thing I'm going to go on to is your combs. So personally I would recommend two different types of combs to start with. You firstly want a comb to separate the coat. So after you've brushed the coat with the slicker you want a comb to go back through and check all your work and make sure there's no knots or mats inside the coat. So here I've got the wide tooth pin comb from the Colin Taylor range. It's really long. I absolutely love this. It's lasted so well i've had it for the past year not a single pin has fallen out of place it's really good for picking up knots and it's just going to set you on your way to better coat standard the second comb i would recommend is a finishing comb i have three different finishing combs but i actually use this half moon comb on nearly everything this is amazing for around the face and around the feet the difference in the combs is this is for knots, this is a bit more sturdy, this is going to help separate the coat, whereas this one is purely for styling and finishing. So if you want a particular look on a dog or you want the hairs to stand up or you want to go back through and make sure you've got every hair cut to an even, even length, that's when you want your finishing comb. Both are from the Colin Taylor range. This is the wide tooth pin comb and this is the half moon comb. This is not sponsored, these are just the brushes that I personally use in my salon. After your combs, I'm gonna talk about the three pairs of scissors that I would recommend you purchase when you set up. So the ones that I use every single day are my straights, spinning shears, and my curves. The curves I use for like around the feet, they give a nice round shape. I sometimes use it around the face or towards the eyes. Um, even around the bum I use the curves. These ones weren't even that expensive, they're by Razor Green, they were £40, I've had them since I started and I absolutely love them, so I would recommend this brand, they've lasted so well. I got them off Christie's. The second pair I have are Jeep or Jibe, Gibe. I don't know how you say the brand, they're straights, they're really long, I think they're about 8 inches. But I would personally invest in longer shears. You have a lot more control when you have longer shears than when you have short shears. And I also have a pair of thinners from there as well. These are the, the entry jeep scissors. I honestly use these all of the time. So these are more of a finishing shear. So if you just want to go around the edge and really crisp up groom and really set your styling, you want your pair of thinners. But also you want your thinners to cover up mistakes. So say you make a slip with your straights and then there's a big chunk of hair missing and you need to blend some hair in, you're going to want your thinners. 
Thinners are amazing for beginner groomers because you are gonna make mistakes and there is gonna be bits that look a bit choppy, don't flow as well. So your thinners are gonna cover up that and they're gonna make your groom look a little bit more flawless. Next item I wanna talk about is blade. It is a minefield out there. There are so many different type of blades that you can use. But on an everyday basis, I probably only use three and I have a whole stash of blades in my salon, but the ones I use nearly every day are my 10 blade, my 30 blade, and my 7 -er. These blades all do slightly different things. The 10 blade I don't use as much anymore. I actually got taught to use with the 10 blade under comb attachments, which is what I'll show you in a minute. But now I use the 30 blade under a comb attachment just to get a much smoother finish. And then the 7F blade is for short and smooth cuts. Also, your 7F blade you're gonna use if a dog is matted is the only blade that's gonna go short enough to get underneath the mat. If it is really severe, you are probably gonna have to jump up and use a 10 blade, which will take it even shorter, but you're at much higher risk of cutting a dog. Obviously, the higher blades you go up. The next item you want in your grooming box is a pair of nail clippers. These are from Amazon, I think they're show tech ones. I absolutely love these clippers. I've had these for the past three years. I would recommend them a lot. Um, we used to have them in the salon that I worked in. They last me really, really well. I use them in the bath. They haven't even started rust or anything. Items you're gonna need is your clippers. I would highly recommend investing in a good pair of clippers. Groomers are prone to carpal tunnel, arthritis, wrist pain, shoulder pain, so it's really important that the equipment you're using is gonna look after your body because if your body ain't working, you're not gonna be able to groom. I invested in the Heinegger cordless clippers when I first started grooming. Where I used to work, we did have a system where you could pay monthly installments, so I paid mine off over three months. These were just under 400 pounds, so they're very, very expensive. But I personally prefer the cordless. They're really light, they're lighter than the Andis ones. And I've also got the wool, brought the wool lithium, purple lithium mini clippers. I used to have Arcos, so if you're looking at mini clippers, wool Arcos will come up, spelled A-R-C-O. I really wouldn't recommend those. Mine broke so quick, and the battery just doesn't last. I didn't know what was wrong with them, but like you charge the battery and it just wouldn't work. Whereas this has, you don't take anything out to charge. Like you literally just sit this in a little port and it charges for you. These are way lighter, they're way more comfortable in my hand. And you can also get attachments to go on the top. So if you've got a really small dog that you don't want to use big clippers on, you can use these little clippers and clip them with this as well. So you really want these if you want to keep the coats nice and fluffy. So what you do with these, these aren't actually that expensive, I think it's 23 pounds. But depending on how long you want the coat, you will pick a, a longer blade. So this eight comb attachment is going to keep the coat very long. Whereas this two comb attachment, as you can see, is a lot shorter. It's gonna keep the coat a lot shorter. What the comb attachments do is keep the coat fluffy. So even if they go, if they go short and they want a short but fluffy look, you just pop this on top of your clippers and it will keep the coat fluffy. Whereas when you have a flat blade, you just put a blade straight on the coat, it's gonna take it down really short and smooth, like to the skin. Last few items I wanna talk about is safety items. So the first one is a blade cleaner. I use this from Conjuro. I think I said about it in my February favorites. It's just a spray on blade and scissor cleaner, 20 seconds. You spray it on any of your products for 20 seconds, then just wipe dry and you're good to go for the next dog. The item I wanna show you guys is Lucillin. So Lucillin is an antiseptic. We could literally spray this in our mouth and it's not gonna cause us any harm. This is really important that you have this. If the dog has a wound or you accidentally cut the dog, I spray a tiny amount of this on a tissue and just pat it in just to prevent any infection going in there. You wanna keep it as sanitary and clean as possible. So a Lucillin is a lifesaver. The last item I want to show you guys is Trimex. So Trimex is a blood clotter, it stops blood pouring out. This is ideally used on nails, sometimes it's really difficult to see where the vein starts and ends, so there's going to be a point in your grooming journey that you are going to clip a nail too short and it's going to bleed. You would basically pop a tiny bit of this onto a cotton bed and it will just stop bleeds very quickly. So this is one of the first things I bought because I was like, oh my god, what have I actually cut one? So Trimex is a must in the salon. I'm going to stop talking now because I feel like I've shown you a lot of products, but they are my top products for a beginner groomer. I know it's a lot and it is expensive. Trust me, I know. I hope that can help you guys. I hope that can set, help set you up with a good box of grooming products for your new salon or wherever, whatever direction you're heading in. If it has been helpful, give a like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. I absolutely love talking with groomers and up and coming groomers and I will see you guys very soon.